India is home to a wide selection of electric vehicles which could very well flip the global EV market on its head. For some reason, Indian manufacturers are able to offer electric two-wheelers with impressive specs and performance, for a fraction of the price of their global counterparts. And whatever that reason may be, it would surely make electric two-wheelers much more accessible to a wider audience. A good example of this comes in the form of the newly released T30, a sporty and futuristic electric motorcycle from Indian EV startup Rapteed HV. This thing clearly flips the script when it comes to EV motorcycles, as it looks like it focuses more on a sporty and enjoyable ride, rather than sheer utility and efficiency. For starters, its styling is clearly sporty, with its sleek and angular bodywork sort of reminiscent of yet another Indian EV motorcycle, the Ultraviolet F77, a bike that has already started making its way to Europe. It also gets way more tech than anybody asked for, as it's decked out with a 7-inch touchscreen display with built-in smartphone connectivity, navigation, and OTA updates. Performance-wise, expect this thing to deliver similar power as a 300 cubic centimeters motorcycle, as it's rocking a 22 kilowatts, about 30 horsepower motor with a claimed torque rating of 70 newton meters, 52.5 pound feet. This gives the electric motorcycle a top speed of 135 kilometers per hour, 84 miles per hour, and an impressive 0 to 60 km per hour, 37 miles per hour, sprint time of 3.5 seconds. All of this is powered by a 5.4 kilowatt hour battery pack with a claimed range of 150 kilometers, 93 miles, on a single charge. So yeah, on paper, this thing is pretty standard when it comes to electric motorcycles. For reference, it has similar performance, range, and tech features as the recently released Can-AM Origin and Pulse electric motorcycles. But when it comes to pricing, the T30 just blows the Can-AM out of the water. So how much are we talking? Well, in India, the T30 carries a sticker price of 239,000 rupees, or the equivalent of about 2,800 US dollars, around a fifth of the price of the Can-AM. All of a sudden, the rather lackluster 90 miles of city range doesn't seem so bad, does it? But things get even better. While the Rapti.HV T30 is clearly built for India, the manufacturer claims that it's ready to take on the world. You see, it's rocking a CCS2 charging port, which means it's compatible with pretty much all standard EV chargers in all parts of the world. It's also the first electric motorcycle in India to come standard with a CCS2 charging port. Clearly, with the T30, Rapti.hv makes it clear that it has its sights set on the global market. And should an electric motorcycle like the T30 make its way to Europe and the US at the price it's selling for in India, well, it'll surely take the market by storm. Of course, we'll have to wait and see how this thing actually performs in the real world. But if it's able to survive India's harsh weather and even harsher roads, then chances are it'll do just fine in other parts of the world too.